I've, I've noticed, and I think I think we even uh, touched on this or, or talked about this at a different point in time, but I'd like you to maybe reiterate for some of the some of the viewers here. In some ways, it seems that that Jews for Jesus and, and groups like that have actually, in some ways, sort of brought like not not to their intent, but have rather than bringing more mm -hmm. Jews into the fold of Christian beliefs, have actually helped facilitate. Um, Christians coming out of their own faith and being drawn more towards Judaism. Is that, is, that, is that something that you see? This is so ironic, and we had this conversation, that it can be said that there's no organization more responsible for the uh, conversion to Judaism, either as a full conversion or becoming a, what's called a Noahide, which means embracing the Jewish faith but not joining the Jewish nation, which is growing exponentially, and you have a great deal to do with with that growth, um, then Jews for Jesus. That means it's these missionaries that are using Jewish literature in order to evangelize that sparks curiosity among Christians who otherwise, as Southern Baptists, would never be interested in anything Jewish. So what happens is these this is so strange, you know, like our enemies come up against us to destroy us and save us from ourselves. So what's happened is that Jews for Jesus, and that's a name of one organization, but there's like a thousand organizations worldwide like that. So just, just that's the most well-known uh, group that began in the early 70s. What they do is they go, if you study your own Bible, you know, it's all Jewish. So all these evangelical Christians begin to study about Jews and Judaism, and then they happen upon you or me, and they go, wait, that makes a lot of sense, and they begin studying. So there's a reason why almost all the Nochites in the world are former evangelical Christians. There's a reason why conversion programs in Israel are packed. You, you can't even get into them conversion programs in the United States. very hard to get into them. Why? Because they're loaded with people who were exposed to Jews for Jesus or the Messianic movement, which triggered within them a curiosity about the faith they're supposed to evangelize, and it just boomeranged on them. And this is one of the strangest things. And that's why there are, I, I imagine your experience is the same as mine. These are not former Buddhists who are becoming Noahides. They're not uh, former Hindus who are converting Jews. There are some, it's just not many. They're almost all of them former conservative evangelical uh, uh, Christians, Hebrew roots groups. These are the people that are triggering ma massive, for those of you who don't know it, you know because you're exposed to this constantly, you're involved in this. We're talking about in the numbers so large and thousands of I mean, I, I didn't even know the no one knows the numbers, but it's enormous. And I would add just one thing. This is not a good time to want to be affiliated with Jews. I mean, <laughs> this is like a dumb time. We're like radioactive, right? So, you know, like think about 85 years before the Holocaust, right? There was almost none of this going on, right? Now we're 85 years after the Holocaust. We, we have observed in the last year, almost, ex, almost exactly a year, the worst act of terror uh, since the Shoah, which has sparked, triggered, ironically, enormous amount of anti-Semitism. And, and it's now that everyone's like banging and said, I want a part of it, I want in. So it is counterintuitive.